Hey Dave, how did you get the handwriting on the board effect? Here's how. What you need is an image of yourself. This is my glorious self um, holding a pen and using a green screen. Fillmore is not really great with masks, so I decided to key it out. To do that, I'm going to go to Effects, then to Utility, and I'm going to drop an image mask, which will make the image smaller. Um, when you double click on your footage, you want to find video effects, image mask, and I found that for me this circular mask works really well. And then I'm going to reduce the width, so you can see it be it's becoming more and more narrow until I get the desired effect. And then I do the same with the height. I'm, going to, I'm just going to make it smaller, and then I'm going to move it on the X and Y axes until I get to the part uh, which I'm going to need, which is maybe a little bit further up. Here we go. Um, and then I press OK. Now I'm going to double click on my footage again because this time I want to remove the green screen. So I'm going to go up to chroma key and I'm going to turn it on. Now the green color is already selected, but you can see some gray in the background. To get rid of that, I'm going to just set the offset to about 10 and that will key out the green screen completely. And with this, the first part is done. What we need now is our text. Now, normally I use the default title to write anything that I need. Um, and you can see if you drop it on the, the track above, it will look like my hand is behind the text. It will be just very co cool writing on glass effect. And we're just going to, here's how to and right. And we're going to make it full stop and we're going to turn it down to 70 so it fits across the screen. Um, I like where it is but maybe we move it just a little further up. Oh, that's the hand. If there's something that you don't want to move, make sure to lock that. So I'm just going to click on the title itself and I'm going to just move it a bit further up. And now I'm going to lock it so I'm not going to accidentally move it. Um, I'll show you actually how that's done. Um, but before you lock it, what we need to do with the handwriting is that we're going to find um, animation and we're going to use a typewriter effect. Um, now what it does is that it will make the text appear from left to right very slowly and then disappear in the end. Um, And we're going to apply the typewriter. Here we go. Now, um, I don't need the disappearing effect, so I'm going to drag out this wide part to the very end, which means that my handwriting is going to appear and then it's going to stay right there. Now, my project setting is set to 30 frames per second. Um, and I'm, I don't have that much time, so we're going to go into about two seconds. Um, and then the entire text is written in about two seconds. So that's manageable. And once it's done, it's going to stay on screen. So we're going to just press OK and we're done. Now we're going to lock it. Now there are two ways to do the handwriting effect. Um, I'm going to show you the easy, easy way and then the slightly more complicated way. Here's the easy way. Um, we're going to set, um, we're going to move our hand to the beginning when we, st when we want the writing to start and where we want the writing to start. And we're going to add a keyframe already. Now we're going to move to the end of the footage, which is right here. And we're going to go back to our hand and we're just going to move it across and with this very simple effect, we just keyframed our hand movement. So if I replay it, you're going to see that the hand f actually follows the speed of the writing. Now, this is fairly simple and it doesn't look really good. So we're going to do the slightly more complicated way as well. Um, just to help myself, we're going to cut down the footage to about two seconds. And we're going to do the same with my hand. Um, and we're going to remove 
any keyframe that we set. Now, um, once again, we're going to lock the default title and we're going to double click on our hand and we're going to do the same thing. Um, we're going to move the hand to where we start the effect to start and where we want the effect to start and it immediately created a quick keyframe. Now we're going to zoom in on our timeline and we're going to move frame by frame using the arrow keys. And then in each frame, we're going to move the hand a little to follow where the writing is. Remember that the writing is done in two seconds, so the hand's going to move fairly quickly, but it's going to neatly follow um, the handwriting. If you feel like the, the, the writing didn't move, don't worry. You kind of just want to follow um, and just keep in mind that um, a regular head movement kind of goes from up to down so to you know if you wanted to make it look like your hands writing then we kind of want to follow the way writing occurs and what you can see is that with each frame move we're going to we're going to create a keyframe now to make the experience line less jarring I'm going to speed up the process so I'll meet you guys in a second And when you get to the end of the footage, you just lower the hand as you would. And then we just move a hand out. So when you replay it, you have something like this. Looks pretty good. And that's it. See you guys online.